Good morning, Professor uh, Dr. Isha Misra. Good morning, sir. Uh, welcome to our uh, Meet the Author program. Uh, in fact, uh, let me introduce you. Uh, Professor Dr. Isha Misra did her master's degree in personal management and industrial relations from Uttal University. And she is the gold medalist of her batch 93 to 95. Subsequently, she completed her MPhil in the same subject, PMIR, and her PhD in human resource management. She is a certified Thomas International PPA practitioner since June 2016. Presently, she is working as an associate professor in the area of HR at Kid School of Management, that is KSOM, and chairperson of BBA as well as HR and OB area. Professor Misra has more than 23 years of experience in leading corporate houses like Adani Dhamraput, Tata Refractory Limited, AR Cell, and others in various leadership roles. She always played the lead role while assisting management in ways rationalization, merger and acquisition, and being a change agent during those transitions. Her professional competency include designing of customized HR processes and their implementation. She has been conducting MDPs in the area of communication, etiquette, emotional intelligence, labor law and compliances, time management, stress management, diversity and inclusion for various corporate houses. She has also worked in HR consulting in the area of competency mapping, job analysis and evaluation, performance management, HR policies and processes. Dr. Misra has been the secretary of NHRD and Bhubaneswar chapter from May 2009 till March 2014 and treasurer since April 2014 till date. She has been honorary sub-editor of the National Institute of Personal Management Utkal chapter from April 2002 till March 2005. I welcome her to the session Meet the Author of her chapter Emotional Intelligence for the book Self-Management for Individual and Organizational Success in the book series IIMT Lecture Note on Management in 2021. I must tell here that at IIMT, we published one book uh, under the book series IIMT Lecture Note on Management each year. So it was the last year book. It was title was self-management for individual and organizational success. And Madam has contributed a, an important area, emotional intelligence. So with this, uh, I welcome Madam. And uh, I would like to ask a few pertinent questions uh, with respect to her chapter. The first question is like this. What has been the motivation behind writing the chapter on emotional intelligence? Um, first of all, uh, sir, I would like to thank you for the words of introduction. And, uh, and again, very important is, I'll use this forum to thank you for having given me an opportunity to write a chapter. Uh, when you mentioned about the chapter to me, I immediately thought about uh, uh, something related to emotions. That's because post-pandemic uh, and post-demonetization or any sort of uh, uh, economic recession or an endemic or a pandemic, what is affected is our emotions first. We are mentally affected first. And then we suddenly realize that uh, we are uh, extremely dependent on the outside surroundings, on our value system, sometimes even in the scriptures. Uh, why we try to justify why we have emoted the way we have. And uh, the best part is we realize that the more emotionally dependent we are on outside factors, the weaker we get in the mind. And this is an area which has always been, in ch been a challenge. I mean, um, irrespective of the hierarchy, irrespective of the level an, an, an individual is, this will continue to remain a challenge because I think uh, the biggest challenge is studying oneself. So the, that is why I went into this chapter, which speaks about emotional dependence, emotional independence, emotional intelligence. That Correct. is Correct. Correct. So all we are human beings, 
is it not natural for us to be emotionally attached or emotionally dependent on our surrounding on our workplace absolutely absolutely it is natural but then what happens is uh, emotional energy is a very neutral energy but how we emote to a stimuli how visible is our emotion that constitutes the positivity of this energy or the negativity of this energy and uh, from time immemorial immemorial we have seen that uh, there are certain emotions which have great repercussions people don't tend to forget the way we have responded to them or uh, if it is not about people if it is about me maybe those emotions have uh, ended up damaging me in fact the the i part the i portion uh so precisely because we are human beings it is necessary to study this facet in the human beings in fact uh, it so happens because of the vuka world the volatility the uncertainty the complexity and the ambiguity of this world which every day every moment every second you can expect a change and we keep on saying that the only thing which is consistent is change so uh we rather are not able to keep up the pace with the fast change and internally the emotions and thoughts are always affecting our behavior so it is us in fact it is human beings even though it is natural uh it is more important to be in charge of these emotions within us and that is what we are talking about in this chapter correct correct uh whether these emotional people have more or higher emotional intelligence what do you think no not at all in <laughs> fact uh, a leader who is at the top that means we call him successful because he is at the top uh somewhere he would have been in control of his emotions he may not have shown his emotions he may not be himself we are always role playing actually and the leaders who are the successful leaders and uh, they are the ones actually who are doing role playing if you are not able to do that role play if you always want to show or if you are always constrained you uh, lose in front of yourself and come out with the emotions which you are exactly fe- feeling without thinking where you are what is your stake you wouldn't end up in that top position so i feel that highly emotional people have a bigger challenge of controlling their emotions as per the situation they are in so it's not necessary that a person who is very emotional will be emotionally intelligent he could be but it is not necessary generally correct. it is correct so so um, that there, there is a in in statistics we call it correlation so it is uh, say um, proportional uh, emotional intelligence and emotional uh, emotional people they are directly proportional or they are uh, say inversely proportional what do you say or they are independent uh mostly it is inversely sir but there could be few cases where they worked upon themselves because there are lot many inner techniques which work inwards but it yeah. is mostly inversely okay mostly inverse but uh, um overly independent yes you, you can yes. yes okay so according to you higher iq or higher eq is the key to success actually uh, both so because uh, while we, the iq part is talking entirely about your rationality or the cognitive part of your thinking of your knowledge whereas the eq part is talking about your effective brain the right part of your brain and it's talking about the emotions in fact uh, both have to work hand in hand if one has to be successful because you can't be extra intelligent without being empathetic without being uh, emotional at the same time you cannot be emotional without having the in fact you won't rise to the top if you do not have the required iq so both have to go hand in hand correct so does emotional intelligence fuel the soul within uh yes it does because see when when do we lose control uh, over our emotions when there is an uh, insecurity or when i'm low on my self esteem these are the times when my thoughts and emotions are at a very low uh, level and at this time when there is a stimulus from outside or when there is an external pressure it becomes extremely important 
uh, for me to control my emotions. So I'll again speak about this from the reverse uh, uh, way. If I'm extremely, uh, you know, if I am not taken, um, uh, I'm not taking a backseat because of these external pressures, which means I'm very much in control of my emotions. And in such a case, I'm always happy because I'm balancing both my rationality and my emotions. And in this stage, I feel this is a kind of positive energy which fuels my soul. It is all about your inward growth. It is all about your inward self because uh, there are, in fact, the very essence of emotional intelligence talks about uh, self-realization. If you are not aware about yourself, you're not aware of people around you. But when we do it in a reverse way, we try to be aware of others before being aware of ourselves. That is where our we are actually torturing our soul inside and our mind. A lot of tussles going on inside. So it is extremely important that there is a positive flow of emotional energy to fuel our soul and that automatically works on our ourself. It, it is in fact directly proportional to the productivity to the deliverables which is expected from us. Correct. Correct. Uh, you have mentioned in your chapter that you should not try to be completely differ uh, different people. So why? Yes, I have in fact added one line over there. We should be the best version of ourselves. Yes. See, uh, sir, I was just talking about self-realization. Once I do that, in fact, we've always been told from our school days to do a SWOT on ourselves. People generally don't do it, but the, it, it is a very big weapon. That strength, weakness, opportunity, threat. Because once we do it, we know where we stand. And once we do that, we know which route we can work upon ourselves. So the idea is to become the better version of ourselves. At the same time, if I am putting somebody as a standard who is not like me, and while trying to emote somebody, while trying to be like somebody who is totally opposite of me, I end up getting... Uh, you know, it, it, I'm getting into emotional crisis and then I get stressed and the word which people always use it these days, in fact, very loosely used word which is depression because people really don't realize the difference between a stress and depression. But actually, I am pushing myself towards that path of stress or whatever you call it, even if it is depression, if there is excess of a stress, if I'm trying to emote somebody who's not like me. So this is what I meant when I said that I should be a better version of myself because I know myself the best if I've done a spot on me, which I should be doing. This is what I meant, sir, when I was speaking about that. Correct, correct, correct. Uh, thank you, madam, for uh, the one-to-one -one interaction on your uh, very uh, inward uh, development work on uh, yourself or self uh, study and uh, it will give uh, our author uh, say more uh, uh, audience uh, the more uh, uh, inside of your chapter.